Hey guys, welcome to Hiking with Steve. Today, the good people at Jackery have sent me the Explorer 500. And this is a little portable power pack with lithium ion batteries. Uh, got an inverter, pure sine wave, uh, 500 watts, 1000 watt peak. So, of course, I'm gonna load that up into my backpack along with a few other essentials. And I'm gonna start a hiking trip. We're gonna try this thing out and we'll see how it works. Time to start my hike up the mountain. Oh, I am as far up as a mountain as I'm gonna go today. Until I have more training, that is what we're gonna get. Anyway, we're up here, we're gonna really give the jackery a test. We're gonna be making fondue in a slow cooker. Cheese fondue. I'm gonna be trying out a hair dryer, which uh, this is actually a heat gun. Men feel more comfortable calling them heat guns than hair dryers, but they're the exact same thing, really. And we'll get right into this and I'll show you all about the jackery here. Hey, we're gonna do a brief introduction to what the good people at Jackery have sent me here. This is the Jackery Explorer 500. It has 500 and 18.4 watt hours of lithium ion batteries inside. It weighs very little, probably 12 pounds out of the package. It ships as 17 pounds, but that includes all the packaging and the adapters. It can charge by household 120 in there. Also the solar panel, which is optional. They couldn't ship it to me in Canada to test, but the solar panel plugs in there as well. And they have a nice folding solar panel. The, it has 12 volt output at 10 amps and the pure wave sine inverter on there. That will put out 500 watts continuous or 1000 watts max for peak power. And it's got these three USB outputs, uh, five volts at 2.4 amps each. So it's actually a really powerful unit and we're gonna get it tested right away with the hair dryer. Heat gun. All right, here it is. The heat gun plugged into the Jackery. And I'm gonna give this the low setting. I know it won't do the high. The high is probably 1500 watts, but low setting seems to be working pretty good. And what's it saying for, for the watts there? 556 watts. So, Obviously you wouldn't bring this on a hiking trip and it's the most frivolous use of power I could think of, but oh, it's even doing the high setting oh, for a little bit. Time to turn on the crock pot. Mm -hmm. Now that the hair is all dry, we're going to plug in the slow cooker into the jackery up this mountain here for a traditional backpacking meal, fondue. Turn that to high to get the party started. And we'll start making some food. So right now on high, the Jackery uh, is putting out 100 watts to the slow cooker. And math tells me, or arithmetic, that that's going to run it for about five hours on high. And we're gonna get this store-bought fondue. I didn't go overly fancy, I just got the stuff from the, the pre-made stuff. This cook, monitor the battery usage, and we'll be good. Now in for a few minutes at 98% and 102 watts.
Now while the slow cooker is doing its slow cooking, I'm going to take this opportunity to throw the USB on and plug my phone because it's absolutely dead. And I surprisingly have a little bit of cell service up here. It's actually completely dead. This will take a sec, but... Yeah, with the phone in, 105 watts draw. And one fact about this Jackery unit that may be something to keep in mind. For energy conservation, if it's drawing less than 10 watts, it will turn off. So if you're using something like an electric fence out at the campground, which I do, which I could easily run off of this, you want to be sure you're drawing at least 10 watts because it could turn off after six hours to conserve the battery. Most people don't need a life-saving device or an electric fence when they're camping. That's just myself and my crazy little attitude. And it's coming along good in the slow cooker. I like to add some wine into my fondue. Just to give it a little bit more of a bite. A little good flavor there. We'll stir this up and continue the review of the Jackery Explorer 500. Little wind and rain whipping up. I'm going to just kind of cover the Jackery best as possible. It has airflow through it, so I don't want to completely cover it up. But like any electronic device, it ain't going to like the, the water too much. And phone is up to 7% in just a matter of a few minutes. And this was dead, dead, dead. Oh, and I got to pay my bill. Holy crap. Shows what happens when you don't look at your phone enough. All right, things are cooking away. You can really see how fickle the weather is. And I keep having to redo these shots because of the wind, and I know that's annoying. And then I look over there, where I was tempted to film, in the other valley. It's got beautiful sunshine. Yeah, that's just crazy. Anyway, continue stirring this up, and we're going to have some fondue, and then hike back down. Right on. The rain has held off long enough for me to get this delicious meal cooked here. I have 77% left after running probably an hour and a half up here with the slow cooker on high and the cell phone charging. And we are going to have a little fondue. Nothing better than cheese fondue with some Granny Smith and bread slices, etc. I'm gonna test this out. Mm, mm, mm. Cheese fondue. Doesn't get a lot better than this out in the forest. Gonna eat up uh, some fondue, pack everything up, hike back down, and I'll just go over everything. They gave me a discount code for this guy as of the time I'm recording this, and probably when it's uploaded, it's not even available yet. They sent me one to try it out ahead of time. And, like, I'm shocked. I've been plugging things into it that have no business plugged into a 13-pound portable little thing. Like, a bar fridge ran that just fine in my neighbor's garage when I was initially testing it. Um, a huge, a huge industrial fan, not a problem. Like, I'm just blown away by the amount of power. And they gave me a discount code for when it is available, and I'll put all the links when it is available. But, unbelievable. I get hundreds of emails a month asking me to review stuff and I turn 99.9% .9 of them down. This guy is different. It's coming with me on the camping adventures in the future. So, oh, I should conserve my heat on the fondue here and have my nice little picnic in the forest. And thanks for watching. I can't say really enough good things about this little guy here. Like one finger. Threw it in the backpack and I hiked up a mountain. Unbelievable. So I'll picnic here a little bit more and I'll get out of here before the bears can smell the fondue in the forest because they probably can. And uh, get back to base camp and I'll just wrap everything up. Now, thanks for watching, guys. A little bit different than normal video because I'm reviewing something, but much appreciate all the views I get and shout outs to a lot of people that helped me along the way. So there'll be shout outs in another video coming up soon. And, you know, I should, I should bring a daisy for beautiful wife because uh, she is watching the dog 
as I'm up here filming. We didn't quite trust him running around up a logging road trail in the middle of nowhere. So there we go. About to hike back down. It was a good proof of concept. Didn't get rained out, which is great. I proved that you can backpack. Like it's an awful lot to be honest for one guy and I know that, but this is camping with Steve. So we push things to the limit sometimes. Gonna camp back down, but seriously, if you had a few guys on a hiking trip, this thing, <laughs> it wouldn't actually add all that much to a total gear pack. You know, if one guy's got the tent, one guy brings this along, and you can obviously not charge anything as frivolous as a like a hair dryer or what well, you could if you wanted, but normally it, it can help you with charging your cameras. If you got a CPAP, you can use it for a CPAP. Like incredible device. I can, I can't say enough about it, but. I'm going to, for now, I'm going to hike on back down. See you guys back at the base camp. Oh, back to base camp, just in the nick of time. It's starting to rain. So I'm just going to go over everything I may have missed. I might have missed other stuff, but this guy has a price of $4.99 US and that's through the Jackery website. There's gonna be links for all that. There's a discount code for the next week coming up called Steve Wallace as the discount code. And it's, for, for the price, I think this is excellent value. And it's one of the few things that I've been sent to review that my wife has said, no, we're keeping this. So, a few other odds and ends on this guy. It's got a flashlight on the front of it because you can't have too many flashlights in these type of situations, outdoors and camping. Two methods to charge it that come in a nice little pouch with the power station are your normal car power port slash cigar lighter thing. Now this will charge it at a lower rate than the actual wall plug-in guy. This guy charges it at about 83 watts to 85 watts is what I've seen on this guy and Just absolutely all over incredible device can't believe I was able to power those big loads up the mountain And if you like what I'm doing camping and all this this is a little bit different because I'm doing a product review uh, on my camping trip, but they these guys are they produced an excellent product and I do recommend it to well, anybody that's in need of this type of a situation, it can be charged at the same time as it's decharging. So if you had a little bar fridge and a solar panel, you can leave this set up and just have a nice fridge with cold ice in it, no cooler, nothing to worry about. And that's, uh, I don't know. It's a new piece of my gear and you'll see it in a few more videos in the future for sure. Thanks for watching. Until next time. You're camping with Steve and hunker down.